Hello, I'm Susan Yates. I'm a pastor's wife, a mother of five, all of our kids are married, and grandmother of 21. Yeah, 21. It's chaotic and wonderful. For a number of years, I've been speaking and writing on various topics pertaining to different seasons of life, from parenting to marriage to newlyweds to empty nesters to being single, and also dealing with questions of faith. So I invite you to join me as we explore simple questions that most of us are asking, and we'll take one each time. Today we're taking a question from my friend Janice. Janice writes, Dear Susan, my husband and I have three children under the age of six, and we have followed your advice to establish regular date nights together. Sometimes, though, I find it's hard to know what to talk about other than dirty diapers. Can you help? Well, many of us have been in the same shoes that you've been in. And first, I want to say I just applaud you for setting aside a time for a date night. My husband and I were advised by an older couple before we got married to make a commitment, even before we were married, to go out on a date once a week. Now, this is a time not to discuss a tough issue. That's another time to do that, but this is a time to talk about something that will enhance your friendship. So what do you talk about other than dirty diapers or who's got what responsibility? Well, it's helpful to come up with a list of questions. Come up with questions that call for more than a one word answer. Questions like, who's someone that influenced you growing up? For good, and how did that come about? Or what's the, your favorite book of the last year and why did you like it? Or even if we had unlimited resources, perfect babysitting, and five days alone, what would we want to do? So often in the tyranny of the day-to-day, -day, we forget simply to dream. But I think the key here is learning to ask questions that call for more than a one-word answer. And you'll want to use this later with your teens because we have to learn how to ask good questions. So let me encourage you to set aside a regular date night. My husband and I have been married for 49 years and we've kept this commitment our whole life. Now, let me quickly say we haven't made it every week. Inevitably, you will have crises come up. But over the years, we've probably made it 50% of the time. So if you have it on your calendar every week, you will have a good chance of making it twice a month. And one other thing about dates, it doesn't have to be at night. You may take a two hour date on a Saturday or a Sunday afternoon. The point is to nurture your friendship in these early years and middle years of your marriage because you're building for the empty nest. And it's crucial to have a strong friendship as you go into the empty nest. Our marriages need to be centered around God first, each other second, and then our children. So we need to be nurturing our marriage the whole way even as we're in that hard, tough, overwhelming season of parenting young children. Hey, thanks for watching today. I hope it's been helpful. If you have a question for me, I'd love to hear it. Please contact me at SusanAlexanderYates.com slash AskSusan. Thanks a bunch.